He's been going back and forth with the WWE Universal Champion Seth Rollins. I mean, what do you make of the back and forth these two have been having? Uh, I think that's the most interesting part about social media these days, you know, is the fact that you have such direct contact with anybody and everybody. You know, obviously they both have very strong opinions uh, about themselves and the companies they work with and, and the things that are going around. And the fans love stuff like this, especially kind of that inner promotional uh, banter going back and forth between him and Seth and what's going on. And, you know, I. I respect both of them. I think, like I said, I personally think Will is one of the best in the world, and I just look at it as an opportunity to prove I'm one of the best in the world when I step in the ring with him in Dallas. So, but I think it's kind of cool just for the wrestling fan. You know, I don't think you've had this kind of war. I don't know if you just got a, a better word for it than since the WCW WWF days when you had Nitro and Raw and all that stuff back then, um, and now you have the internet and, and social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want to use at that time to kind of create that that banter, that war, that fights between companies without it actually going cross promotion in the ring, which for the wrestling fans, they're always fantasy booking and they're always, you know, going, what if Will Ospreay faced Seth Rollins and so on and so forth. So this is kind of a glimpse into that possibility and creating a story without it actually happening. So I think it's fun for the fans. I think it's fun for the wrestling world. I think it creates a lot of attention, not only for uh, Will and Seth and, and the companies they work with, but everybody that's involved in the business.